Chrisman here from R.L. Chrisman Metalworks. Well, I've been working on the installation of the DRO for this R31 mil drill. Got the scale mounted on the back here, but I still need to uh, put the mounting bracket on for the reed head. I might have to make a few adjustments on it. Before I bolt everything up solid, I'm going to take it back off, show you some of the modifications I had to make to get this on here, and uh, put Loctite on some of the bolts so it'll stay on there permanently. But anyway, quick update here. I'm going to uh, get this bracket finished off. This is what the reed head will bolt to. And then I'll tear this all apart and I'll show you everything I had to do to get this, this part of it done. And then we'll uh, continue on with the scale for the uh, y-axis. This is the scale for the x-axis. But Anyway, I'll turn the camera off here and do a couple of little things and then I'll, I'll be right back. Well, I've got to do some milling on this block <coughs> right here, this angle piece. I already did some on this edge. I had to take oh, probably three quarters of an inch to an inch off of this edge. This was the smaller of the two angle brackets that were in the package for this DRO. Uh, this is actually going to mount on the back down here. This will mount to the machine. The reed head will mount up here. But I'm losing a lot of travel on this table in the y-axis because of this scale being back here. And I don't want to lose any more than I have to. So I'm going to mill the edge of this bracket down a little bit. Still going to leave it sticking out just a little bit past this reed head for the scale just as a bump stop so when I come back here this will actually hit before hitting the scale because I don't want to take a chance on damaging the scale this is just sitting on here this is the cover that goes over the scale this is the scale itself here in behind that there's a solid uh, mounting piece that actually bolts to the side of the table and then the scale bolts to that mounting piece and you can adjust this mounting piece up and down and, and this way so that you can get it true and I'll show you how I did that because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it all back off so I can lock tight the bolts and I'll show you that whole process but before I do that I need to machine this down mill it down a little bit so I thought I would just go ahead and do that and show you how I'm going to set up and do that. So I'm going to put some T-nuts and bolts in here. And rather than put the vise on here to do this, I'm just going to do it right here on the table. from my clamping kit. Get a couple of nuts here.
securely mounted down there. I've got a three quarter inch end mill in here. This isn't a new one, this is one of my older ones, but for what I'm doing here, it'll work just fine. Bring the quill down with this hand wheel over here, and there's a knob you can tighten up on the back of the hand wheel, and then you can raise and lower the quill using this handle. And there's a, a linear back here that's uh, marked off in thousandths of an inch, so you can accurately set the depth and then tighten up the quill with that. Got a fairly slow feed going there. Cutting the wall. This is just some tapping the wall, but it'll work for cutting the wall on this. A little bit on there. Now I'm going to uh, bring this down and just touch off on the part. take about 50,000 feet cuts on this, at least the first few. Try to end up with the last cut at about 10,000. Okay, there, that's 50,000 feet.
thousand. this off of here and then I'll give you a close-up view and show you where this piece is going to go. Okay, I need to drill some holes in this mounting bracket. I've got it mounted in this little angle vise that came with the mill drill. I don't have the vise bolted down. I have uh, center punched where I want to drill. So I'm just going to uh, go for those center punch marks here. drill these holes a little bit oversized so I've got a little bit of room for adjustment on this when I put it on here. But anyway, on this part, like I said, this was the smallest of the angle brackets that came with the DRO kit. And uh, I had to mill down this surface here and this surface here to get this to fit for where I need to put it here. And like I said, I'll give you a close-up of that here in just a second. Okay, like I said, this is the scale. This part down here, this is the reed head for the scale. This bracket is going to bolt on down here. 
to uh, the base of the machine here. And then there'll be bolts that go up into the bottom of the reed head. So that the reed head will always be stable right there and the scale will move across it to give me my reed out from my x-axis. Anyway, that's where it goes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark where I need to drill the holes for that. And then uh, I'm going to pull this scale off of here and then we'll continue on. Okay, real quickly here. This is the back side of the table on the RF 31 mil drill. Right here, this is one of the holes that I had to drill and tap for the mounting rail for the scale itself. Down here at the other end, is the other hole for the mounting bracket for the scale. And then down here, those are uh, M5 tapped holes for M5 screws. These down here, there's one right there, and there's one right here. Those are M4 tapped holes that I will use for this mounting bracket that I showed you that I was milling a while ago. This bracket will bolt on right here, and then it will bolt up to the bottom of the reed head for the scale. So anyway, that's where that piece is going to go. The next thing that I wanted to show you was this piece right here which is the mounting bracket for the scale itself and this bracket bolts on the back of the table like this now if you notice I milled a hole in the back of that slot or that uh, that bracket and I had to do that because where that bracket is going on there I've got one of these ball type oilers right there on the back of the table and I hate covering it up but I don't have a choice I'm just going to have to uh, oil this in other ways and make sure that I oil it quite a bit. 